All right, Treagles, what's happening? So last weekend, I was at DOA's three-year anniversary, and this took place in Ipswich, and this was at the Gangsborough Labour Club. So let's go straight into the first match now, and this is a singles match, and this was between Doan, who is now going as a singles competitor, considering what happened with Oblivion and Draco. If you haven't already seen it, I will put the description in the link below so you can check that out. And Doan was up against Danny Blaze, so let's go and check this one right out now. <laughs> picked up the win there in the very first match of the night and it was a good match actually like I've always been you know I'm always a little bit 
concerned with the first matches. But like I said, there was loads of support for... Darwin would go with that anyway. But like I said, Danny Blaze got the crowd over as well, getting on his back, which is great. And I love that. I want, like I said, I want my heels to get the crowd going, to boo them. And I want my faces to get the crowd going, to cheer them. But that kind of changes towards the end, and I'm getting ahead of myself now, but I won't spoil anything. But overall, really good match. I enjoyed this to kick things off. Really good. So your next match up, and this is between Alex Cupid, and he was up against Nathan Shaw. So we go straight into that one right now. <laughs> picks up the win there in what was it started off a very slow match in a very technical like old school British wrestling I'm not a massive fan of that I will admit mainly because I've been sport growing up with the likes of WWE America, American style fast wrestling but you can appreciate what they do it's very technical so obviously hats off to the pair of them or anyone that's got the bottle to get into the ring anyway but the match did speed up you know for my personal liking and like I said it was a good match in the end for both sides obviously Nathan Shaw and Cupid, they both got really good, excellent moves in there. Like I said, with the technical at the beginning, and then speeding it up with some uh, dramatic moves towards the end. You know, a good match to build things up, shall we say? Because, like I said, I don't want to give it away, but keep watching. Ah, oh, the creme of the creme. So your next match up, and this is a ladies match, and this is for the women's DOA heavyweight championship match. Now this is between the current champion, my princess, the voodoo queen Amara, and she was up against Amy. <laughs> Come on. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> Princess Voodoo picks up the win once again. No one can stop her, all right? I'm telling you now, DOA, if she ever loses that belt, all right? We riot. Okay, maybe not we, maybe me. Oh, and actually, I won't do anything. I would just sit there sulking quietly with my arms crossed and be very, very annoyed at you. But no, I'm joking. No, but this was a fantastic match. It really was. And all of you lot shouting, ref, ref, ref. She wasn't cheating, all right? She just went to get a bit of talcum powder to grip her up, to lift her up. You know what them weight weightlifters do, right? It was that, all right? It weren't cheating at all, okay? So you lot just get back in your seats, wind your necks in. But this was a fantastic match. It really was. Amara. Just keep doing what you're doing. Fantastic. Amy as well. Really good moves in there. I like it. You know, I look forward to the women division every time that I come to a DOA show. And it's not just because they lick each other. I'm going to get in trouble for that. I know I am. And I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not actually sorry at all. So your fourth matchup. And this is another championship match. And this is for the DOA Adrenaline Division Championship. And this is between the current champion who I have fucking absolutely love right now he is my favorite wrestler you know i mean i've lost words you know this guy is just fucking brilliant he's fantastic on the mic he's brilliant in the ring and i want him to insult me so then i can feel special like you know when it's like you know my name you you know my name and they just insulted you but you don't give a fuck because they know who you are but this is ash draven he is a current doa adrenaline division champion and he's up against Kid Crazy, so we'll go straight into this match right now. Wow. Okay. 
Social one, Ash Draven retains his DOA Adrenaline Division Championship. It was a very good match. Really enjoyed this. Low, it was exciting. It was lightning fast. It was just brilliant. Started off quite technical, but it was just fantastic. It was fast. It was go, go, go. Brilliant. I just really enjoyed this match. Best match of the night so far. Like I said, Ash Draven is over with the crowd even as a hill. It's just fucking brilliant, you know. Gives it to the crowd, fantastic. Brilliant in the ring. Kid Crazy as well, you know. Gave me a little shout-out. This one's for you, baby. You know, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Just, you know, really great match. Really enjoyed it. I'd love to see these two again very, very soon. Well, I hope I'll see Kid Crazy soon. Ash Draven, I think we're going to see for a very, very long time. Let's put it that way. So the next matchup was meant to be a singles match, but got turned into a tag match. And I'll tell you why. So Mark Lloyd has got a reputation in DOA of a losing streak. He did win at the last DOA show in a tag match. But singles, I'm still calling it that he is still 3-0 in his own. But at the moment, if you want to class it, he's 
three and one, if that's even the right way of saying it. Look, it's a yank fucking term. I don't say that. Look, he's lost three, he's won one. Not one in here as a single. So anyway, Mark Lloyd was actually meant to have another row with Danny Darko. But obviously Mark Lloyd now comes out with the mighty Zeus. He's back up. Danny Darko's a bit like, hang about. He likes to get involved. I'm bringing a little bit of backup. So basically, like I said, this turned into a tag match. So this was Mark Lloyd and the Mighty Zeus against BG Frilliams and Danny Darko. Now there's a promo. I'm going to throw that in for you now so you can watch that. I can only apologize from the way I was positioned. Basically, I was meant to have seats dead center just to the right of me. When I went there and said, excuse me, is my name on the chair? This lady went, no, there was nothing there. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. So, like I said, that's that's why the angle's a little bit dodgy there, because someone ripped my name off a fucking seat. Cheers, love. So, anyway, we go straight into this promo, then we go straight into the match. Listen to them. <laughs> my name is Mark Lloyd. <laughs> and I am a banker. <laughs> You're a banker. You're a banker, but I'll have you know, I'm the biggest banker. Yeah! Yeah! You're a banker, banker. You're a banker. You're a banker. Where is Donald? What? Angle back. Angle back. <laughs> My grandfather was a banker. My father, Donald Lloyd, he was a banker. But as I said, I am the biggest banker in the family. And I'm the biggest banker here. Not you. No, I could stand here needlessly chit-chatting with you half-wits all night, but quite frankly, I haven't got the time. So I challenge Danny Darko. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! I challenged Danny Darko to a match tonight and I haven't seen him. I don't know where he is and quite frankly I don't know what's happening. But we're going to go to that ring, we will issue that open challenge and if Danny Darko has the balls to come out here then I will get the pinfall victory. I will start a winning streak. So I've heard what they said. I've heard that I can't win because my big man here, Big Zeus, yeah. he's doing all the hard work. I wonder who that was. Start the street. Start the street. Start the street. It was me. <laughs> and that, you half wits, can back up. Hey! I'm Grandma. I had a match with you, mate. I don't remember this big guy here. Oh. And I know full well that he can't keep his hands to himself. I found one big, frilly, khaki partner. Introducing to you, BG Frillon! No, 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 no! Every time! They know! Make sure you subscribe, I'm skin. <laughs>
give him that. That was good. That was good. But... Oh! Nice from the big man. BG Frilliams and Danny Darko pick up the win there against Mark Lloyd and the Mighty Zeus. And I have to say that this was a very good match, very entertaining. You know, <laughs> it's really, I do like all of these characters. Well done to everyone in the ring there. You know, I really enjoyed this match. You know, I always, like I said, why always me every time? Oh, I mean, I like big men sitting on my lap, all right? You know what? It's a fetish. Get over it, okay? You know, you're just jealous. No, but I really enjoyed everyone here. You know, I've just said that, but I've got to repeat it again because this was a fantastic match. Can't fault anyone for it. You know, loads of great moves. Um, I love the character with the banker. I hope that that continues as well. I just... Is he going to get a win on his own eventually? I don't know. We'll wait and see. Um, but one other thing that I've got to do, what I forgot to do in the last clip was... Did you hear that? Slap! Oh! Mate, I tell you what, these slaps are fantastic. And I've always praised Danny Darko for his chops and his slaps as well. But, you know, I just love them. I just like to keep slapping, keep slapping, keep sitting on my lap. I even got a little shout out by the DOA crowd. I'm over with the DOA crowd fans. You know, it's brilliant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below because I'm skin. I need the money. So your next match up, and this is between Dracor, who used to be tag partner with Doan in Oblivion. But like I said, that's no longer happened. If you haven't seen what happened, I will put the last show in the description, so go and check that out. Anyway, so Dracor is up against Tom Falcon in a singles match. <laughs>
So Dracul picks up the win there by a TKO, knocking Tom Falcon out completely. Dracul, you dirty animal there, picking him up and smashing his face down in the ground again. That's uncalled for, mate. That's uncalled for. But that wasn't the end of it. I've got a couple more clips here just that follows up for it now. So let's talk about the match just after this. I don't know where he is, I don't know where he does, what he does with himself. I can't lay out a challenge because he just won't turn up. He's a coward. Yeah. What I need is the only Make him turn up and I'll face him in that ring. I don't care if it's a hardcore match. Yeah. In fact, that's what I want. I want there to be no rules. Yeah. And I'm going to get a piece of track call whether he likes it or not. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yeah! DOA! I need you to make this happen! DOA! 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 So Darwin comes running out to Tom Falcon's rescue, even though he was knocked the fuck out anyway. You just got knocked the fuck out! Dracul ran, chicken, but if this match does ever go ahead, a no holds bar, hardcore match, ladder match, chair match, Tack match, pins, I'm throwing it all in there, knives, alright, maybe not knives, but you know, this could be fucking fantastic, I want to see this, I've never seen a hardcore match like this at DOA, so if this does happen, fantastic, I'm all for it, uh, you know, cage match, maybe, oh, I'm pushing a little bit too much there, but anyway, let's go back to the match now, to be honest with you, Dracul just dominated from the word go, Tom Falcon didn't really stand a chance, to be honest with you, Dracul just dominated. I've already said that, but I'm saying it again. Because there's not much more I can say, to be honest with you. He came out, he'd done his job, and he left. Tom Falcon, unfortunately, it's just a shame that you couldn't get going. Hopefully, next sh next time, next show you're on, maybe you're up against someone who's not going to be such a, a, a vicious animal, and we might even be able to see a bit more of you. So here we are, people. The main event time. Now... This is a two out of three falls. Anywhere counts. It just went everywhere. You'll see in some of the videos. This was between the current champion, Damien, who is the leader of the Purge. And he was up against Doug Williams. And this is for the DOA UK Heavyweight Championship. Don't forget, two out of three falls. Actually, one thing I just need to mention here before we go into the match. I did say in my last match that Damien normally comes out and he, he spits, for well, like I said, I hope it's water into the crowd. As soon as I said that in my last video, my fate was sealed and I said I jinxed myself. Guess who he aimed for? My mate came with me, Pip. It was his very first time. I've put his hood up for him and I'm standing, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Bang. Straight in the face. I knew it was coming. I just knew it was coming. <sighs> I kind of enjoyed it. Oh. Doug Williams! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I... 
gentlemen, the winner of the first, William! Shut your mouth! You shut your mouth! One more! <laughs> oh, one more! One more! One more! One more! One more! has beaten Damien two pins to one to become the new DOA UK heavyweight champion. That's not the end of it. You know who's going to get involved. The Purge. And the new DOA UK heavyweight champion, Doug Williams! Your commiserations for the now former DOA UK heavyweight champion, <laughs> Damien! Where's your mouth? You shut your mouth! Where's your mouth? Shut your mouth! So yes, I had another big man sit on my lap again, Damien, as you saw there. Uh, so before we can even wish Doug Williams congratulations, this happens.
know, right? He's cashed in his go for glory briefcase. Oh my fucking god. What a way to top off a three year anniversary with a cash in right there. He's already the adrenaline division champion, which he robbed off of Peter Nixon. And now he's just beat Doug Williams to be the DOA heavyweight champion. So now he is the DOA undisputed champion. Simple as that. And this. Oh my god, I've, I've, got I've got goosebumps, I've got goosebumps, look, it's just fucking brilliant. This now starts the era of the antisocial one. Now forget your fucking attitude era, right? That was fucking brilliant. This is the antisocial era right now with Ash fucking Draven. And I tell you what, it ain't even finished yet. Watch this. <laughs> oh Nixon, do you know the old saying? That lightning never strikes twice. I've proven that theory to be wrong. And not only have I taken your belt, but I've taken yours, Doug. And now I am the undisputed champion of all of DOA. And most importantly of all, I've got another ornament. For the happy place. Yeah! Peter Nixon couldn't be any more fucking gutted. And you've got to feel sorry for him, really. And he was the actual ring announcer. I've got to give him credit there because I haven't already done that. So Peter Nixon was the ring announcer. And you can see on his face, he was just, he was devastated. He was gutted knowing that Ash Draven stole his belt. And that, at the moment, he's the man. And... I'm an Ashtraven guy. I'm calling it right there. You know, I want t-shirts made up. I'm an Ashtraven guy. I want it there. <laughs> I don't know what else. I mean, all right, let's talk about the match actually first. So Damien and Doug Williams. Now, good match, entertaining. Like I said, you know, pretty much no holes bar goes anywhere. And they went out into the car park and everything, you know. So sorry about the camera moving and everything. But like I said, fantastic match between two legends pretty much right there. Obviously, Doug Williams was in TNA, you know, the, the tag champion with, in TNA. Damien, unfortunately, has lost his belt, but my princess has still got her belt, so it's all good, people, right? The purge still remains strong, and like I said, they've still got Jackie Hyde and Hex to appear. I don't know where they are at the moment, but still, like I said, the purge, I think there's big things coming with the purge. Doug Williams, like I said, before we could even say congratulations, Ash Draven's cashed in his Go For Glory briefcase, and he has won. You've got to feel sorry for Doug Williams, really. I mean, it must have been nice being champion for about, what, 30 seconds, maybe? You know, it's more than I'll ever fucking witness, I guess. But, guys, like I said, this is the antisocial era right now. Uh, I can't wait for the next DOA venue. Uh, I can't wait for the next DOA show. I'm, I'm buzzing for it already. I really am. So, just before I end this video now, guys, I just want to say the 29th of October is the next DOA show. That is in Felixstowe, and it is going to be fucking fantastic because it's going to be a Halloween event. So, like I said, I think the Purge... There may be something there. This is just me speculating, people, right? But Halloween and The Purge, I'm just trying to put, you know, one and one together. And that makes 11. But still, you know, um, guys, thank you very much, DOA, for letting me video. You know, fantastic. I just want to give a couple of shout-outs to a couple of people. I did want to get a group photo with you, but you ran off before I could do that, you know. So thank you very much for giving me, you know, a shout-out with Potato O'Reilly and everything. I appreciate that. And also, I'm going to throw in a couple of photos that I got taken with some of the wrestlers as well. And there's a photo bomb in there as well. Cheers, Dan. So a couple of shouts out too. I've got to read this while I'm doing this, so I'm sorry. Uh, Dan, Nicole, Carl, Liam, Clark, Rob, James, Ray, Mick, and Omar. I hope I've said that right. You know, fantastic. Hope to see you very soon at other shows. Now I'm going to throw in a couple of photos. So that's all I've got for you at the moment, guys. Like I said, I've got loads more shows coming up. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description, as well as some of the wrestlers as well. So give them a follow. I'll put the link to the last show that I went to so you can see some of the storyline if you haven't already seen it. Share this video with everyone you know on your Facebook, on your Twitter. Retweet it. Like I said, subscribe. I need the money. I'm scared. But in all seriousness, until next time, guys, I will see you later.